Okay, so hello 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 welcome back to my video and today we are going to see how we can uh, how we can run graphics programs in dev c++ okay so for running a graphics program we need to uh, we need to import a particular library named as graphics.h okay so we can so we are going to see how we can easily like include our uh, graphics library in our dev c++ so for that first of all you will need to uh, download some files i will provide the link in the description you need to download those files and after that we can start and also if you have not downloaded dev c++ you can refer to my previous video uh, i'll put the link in the description of that video too and it's very simple you can just go to google chrome like i'll show you here just go to google chrome type dev c++ and the first website which will appear on the page named as sourceforge.net or sourceforge.com just click on that website and after that yeah, here is that website and after that just click on this download I have already downloaded it so I won't be downloading it now just click on this download and after that install all this procedure is provided in my video you can refer to that okay so now proceeding forward the file which you need to download is the link is provided in the description and it will look like this all these documents will be in that file okay so one by one we are going to copy these files and down, uh, paste it in the uh, location where we have installed dev c++ so how we can reach the uh, how we can reach the just we just need to click on dev c++ right click on dev c++ and after that there is uh, yes this option open file location so just click on open file location it will take us to that folder where the dev c++ is particularly installed okay so now these six files are available in the folder which you are going to download okay so after that you just need to select this these two files six console app graphics and console app cpp graph okay which two files number first six console app graphics and console app cpp graph okay just uh, select them copy them then moving to the folder moving to this folder in this folder you you can see here a folder named as templates so just click on this uh, where templates click on templates and inside templates shall just paste them okay you will need to provide uh, the administrator permission just provide that please continue and continue and here those files like here and here these files are copied okay so now moving back now we have copied these two files after that just this win bgim and graphics which two files win bgim and graphics these two files you just need to copy them then moving back to our folder now this is uh, here you can see this ming w64 which folder this ming w64 okay inside this inside that you can see this x8664 w64 ming w32 just inside this folder you can here see include which folder include inside include just copy this and do this for all current items continue so it has copied okay so now we have copied four files first we have copied we had copied these two files six console graphics and console app cpp graph after that we copied graphics and winbgim and now the last one last file named as libbgi you copy this file again moving this moving to this folder now here we can we will again go in ming w64 open this folder again x8664 w64 folder go inside that now this time we will not go in include in place of that we will go in lib which folder this lib just open this lib folder and here just copy okay so 
we have just copied the folder okay so now it's all done we have copied all those files all those five files now we are going to open dev c++ and we'll also run an run a simple program to demonstrate you how we are going to proceed further in a course now dev c++ is open go to new and new select new and project new project here you can see graph uh, sorry console graphic application which console graphic application select and you can name the project as my first project okay my first project oh I'll just save this here it is. okay so we are all set now importing include sorry hashtag include hashtag include which graphics dot h okay and after that using namespace std then main function and now here begins the main game now first we'll write in it window okay so in it window what will it do it will create a window okay it will create a window of the given size like i'm giving it size of 800 800 by 800 by 800 so what uh, what is this 800 by 800 it's actually the size of the window given in uh, unit of pixels 800 pixels by 800 pixels after that we are going to create a line line we are going to create from 0 comma 1 or 0 comma 0 comma 150 comma 150 so, okay, so just let me run this program and after that I'll explain what I explain it. Okay, so it's, it's all done. Let's just run the program. It's main, save the file, and it should run now. We just need to select. Uh, it's just, uh, we just need to select this uh, DMGCC 32-bit release. Which 32-bit release? So we have forgot to do this. We just need to select 32-bit release. Okay. And now we should. Now it would run. Hmm. It, uh, okay. So just let me minimize this. And so here I created a line from here to here. Okay. So uh, in it window, it is 800 by 800. So this window size is 800 pixels. Okay. 800 pixels by 800 pixels. And this second line which I have written is basically line function. Okay. So for this 0, 0, uh, 0 comma 0 uh, denotes the starting point or the or the coordinates of the starting point of the line so here this this is the starting point of the line and its position is 0 comma 0 and here this point the ending point of the line is basically 150 by 150 so in the line function we have to provide the starting the coordinates of the starting point and as well as the coordinates of the ending point and after that this line gets ch this is basically like if if i don't write this or i 
I mention it as a comment. Now if I run the program again, what will just happen? It will just run. It will just uh, run. The program will run, but we will not. We would not be able to see the output. Okay, did you just saw that? Like it appeared for us uh, for less than a second, and it uh, then went away. So for this, we need get ch. Get ch function. What it uh, what it does is it basically holds the output of the program. Like it holds that window which displays the line which is created if using this program. It just holds all uh, makes it stay on our window, and we would be able to see. So this function basically does that. Okay, so here it is. We just basically downloaded the Dev C++ uh, in the previous window, and in this video we have just set up our Dev C++ for graphics dot h, and created a sample program also. So in the, our, our upcoming videos, we are going to learn many other functions of graphics dot h, and will be. Thank you.